All right, so let's move on to the next step while this thing gets all nice and dried up. Now, I'm using just a straight piece of craft plywood here. Bring you guys back down into the, the viewing field. And we'll move this on over there. So this will come in handy here in just a little while. The first thing that we need to do is we are going to cut out this particular piece of the flag. Now you can use your X-Acto knife to do this, you can use a pair of scissors to do this. It's completely and totally up to you and what you're comfortable with. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing cut out. So So that was incredibly tedious, as you can imagine, but it is done. And it look pretty? Of course it does. Now then, remember when I said we're going to lightly put it on there, because if we do it backwards like this, well that's a backwards horde symbol. We need the front, but we've drawn paper on the front. Now there are two ways to deal with this. A, you can paint over it, or B, if you had loosely glued it down, you will just lose a touch of that, and you can start peeling it right on off. It comes off decently easy, so long as you didn't put too much pressure on it. Um, I have in the past put too much pressure and had to resort to painting, but Generally speaking, it's not too terribly bad. Let's go ahead and finish peeling this off here. And there we have a nice dark cord symbol. Sometimes you might have to take your exacto knife and just help it out a little bit, peel it away for you. There we go. There's a nice little horde symbol right there for us. <clears throat> so let's move that to the side. Now, like I had said previously, um, the horde is a little bit different than the Alliance, Dalaran, and other things. So, when it comes to their banner design, I'm thinking we can go two ways. Either very simple, um, just a nice corner slot right there. Um, alternatively, you could go with something uh, more, I don't know, decorative um, in terms of the horde sort of way of life, tattered. Um, unfortunately, this is a pretty thick piece of. Uh, whatever it is, cardstock. Um, I mean, 
I could probably tear it, but I don't think it's going to give us the effect that we really, really want. Um, so we may have to artistically kind of show the, <clears throat> the, I don't know, what the proper word would be, I guess, aggressiveness and, and tatteredness of the horde in a different way. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get this uh, banner designed. We're going to use Old Glory here as a template for the size of this thing. Um, we're going to use some M1 on the back side. We're going to use this here and a charcoal pencil. So I'm thinking, you yeah, know. Definitely thinking we're going to go this way with it. And we'll just bring this across here. So that being said, we have a nice little outline. And I'm thinking what we'll do for our top here. The one will get sort of our center position. Looks about right. So let's go right in here and right in here, maybe. That looks good. So, what we're going to do is just get it straightened up and draw three lines and what these lines are for and actually a little bit more out of the way there on that one. These are just little guidelines for me to take a look at and see where I want to put the neck. So the neck's going to be pretty simple on this one. That looks good, so we'll deal with that. We're just going to do a nice, easy roll. The neck. We'll actually probably want to bring that down quite a bit. Yeah. Bring that down to about right here. Yeah, I like that. All right. And then down here, so we have this. Center line. Just do a nice even outrig. Is this going to be our basic design? So we'll go ahead and cut this out time we'll use the scissors remember guys it does not need to be perfect it does not need to be perfect at all matter of fact my lines are pretty wavy but that's okay we can clear that up pretty, pretty easily here. So like I said, we're just going to do a nice, simple V pattern. That looks 
good. And then up here around the neck. We'll cut another little V pattern. The same size on both sides. Something about like that. A little crazy here. We'll trim that touch. One side's a little bit stronger than the other one. I'll use the exacto. <clears throat> Get a little bit of a better feel to it. So that looks good. Now then, this thing should be nice and solid now, and it is. So we can come in here, kind of lay this down on top of it, and yeah, we're going to bring this down significantly. symbol here we've got plenty of room so we'll probably bring this down even further and this is just the process of figuring all this out and getting it to where we want to be so we want to have enough room to fold over and still have that neck that's why we're going so deep there Okay, so flip this over and make sure that our hoard symbol is going to fit in there nicely, which it is. It's actually probably a little small. I think the other ones are a little bit bigger, but that is okay. This is going to be sized down quite a bit as well. Flip that over there. And um, let's get a good little... Hit of where this will be. So we are going to want to push this one in here and here. So I get a nice little line going there and a nice little line going here. And that looks pretty good. So, let's go ahead and cut this down to size. Okay. So now we have this, and our word symbol is going to look a whole lot bigger once we have this all set up and looking nice. All right. So we'll glue that on here shortly. But first, what I want to do. We're going to take this little guy, 
right here along the edge. I'm going to use our pencil here. And we're going to draw the outline. of this particular set here. And pencil. <clears throat> and we're going to cut her out slightly bigger. than that pencil line. reason we drew it a little bit bigger because we're going to add a border and the way we're going to do that is by taking this and our pencil and draw a straight line as possible. It's going to be a little difficult if you get down there, so you want to use your fingers, move your fingers around. But ultimately, what you're going to end up with is a nice opposite side border. For your piece, and you'll just do that all the way around, like so. Come over this side and do the same. All right, come back in and just kind of go over your lines there. Make sure they're nice and spaced out properly. Don't want to be too far down, too far away from everything. Lines will be pretty straightforward and ready to go. And then you're going to cut along that line on the inside of that line. up with two pieces. So you're going to end up with one piece like that. And then you'll cut from the outside of the, this line. In order to get your inside border for the top. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to take our glue stick and we'll go ahead and lay down 
this top border here. just like so and I like to always kind of come back through and go over kind of where I glued down just to give it a nice top coat if you will alright so now I'll go ahead and get the bottom or the outside border fit it on here nice and neatly and I always like to use the opposites and trim later on if I need to that being said I'm a little bit low on this one so let me bring that up Like I said, I just like to get a nice extra little top coat on these. Alright, so there we have that. Now we can lay down our centerpiece. And to be completely honest with you, this is took a little bit more than I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down on this piece of scrap paper really quickly. I'm sure you guys can't really see it in the video, but it's a little gray, grayer than I would like for it to be. So I'm going to just paint it paint it black again so also stiffen it up a little bit as well glue on there and we'll pop this boy right on top right there and we'll take the exacto knife and just get that really well into position actually I'm going to flip that script there Perfect. All right. So this is how we're looking so far. We need to sometimes come in here and just push things around and get them right where they're supposed to be. I'm going to come in and kind of tatter this thing up a little bit with some little scratches in here.
Okay. And then I'm going to actually take a little bit of this pipe cleaner. Right into a brush. I'm just going to scratch this up and get that get that paint kind of nice and in there. Okay. Now I have a little bit more of a dirtied up situation going on, so we're going to let that dry. Move that right up there. Just let that dry out a little bit. And